Rapper Boosie was in the spotlight this past weekend, but not for the reasons he might have hoped. What was supposed to be a lit night at the pull-up car show and music fest turned into a nightmare when shots rang out, leaving two men dead. The scene. On August 10th, the I-29 Speedway in Pacific Junction, Iowa, was set to host a major outdoor concert featuring Boosie, Rob49, and Rich the Factor. The vibe was all about cars, music, and good times, and fans were hyped to see these artists perform. But around 9 p.m., the scene shifted from celebration to chaos, the incident. The shooting went down in the parking lot, just as the event was heating up. Two men from Nebraska, Marcus L. Johnson, 28, and Charles A. Williams Jr., 27, lost their lives in the tragic incident. Cops haven't spilled the details on what sparked the violence, and the motive is still up in the air. But the event organizers didn't take any chances. They pulled the plug on the concert immediately. Boosie's reaction. Boosie, who was waiting to hit the stage, was caught off guard when the show got canceled. He took to Instagram, posting a video where he seemed confused about why the concert was shut down. Hey, they just shut the, uh, the concert down. I've been in the back a couple hours waiting to perform. They just shut the concert down. I don't know, some shit happened at the front, but we finna take it to Crush Ultra Lounge. The party don't stop. Guess they gonna have to book me again in Omaha, but we finna, we finna take it to Crush, man. Fish out the party, we finna take it to Crush. But Boozy wasn't about to let the night end on a sour note. He quickly switched gears, telling his fans to keep the party going at a local lounge. As he put it, the party don't stop. The aftermath. Right now, the investigation is still ongoing, and the Iowa Department of Public Safety is keeping tight-lipped about the details. The deaths of Marcus and Charles have left their families and the community reeling, and many are looking for answers. The bigger picture. This incident is another reminder of how quickly things can take a dark turn, even in spaces meant for joy and entertainment. While the investigation continues, Boosie's fans and the broader hip hop community are left reflecting on the violence that too often disrupts our spaces. In the end, what should have been a night of music and unity became a moment of tragedy. But in true Boozy fashion, the rapper made it clear that even in the face of adversity, the show must go on, just somewhere else. Hit the like button right now, I dare you. Hit the subscribe button right now, I dare you. Hit the share button right now, I dare you. I am the artist TV. I am the artist and you can be the artist too. Join my channel. Hit that subscribe button. And we gonna take the world by storm together and we gonna figure this shit out.